In this video, we are going to see how to send WhatsApp messages when new send and blue contact is added to a list. So, here every time a new contact is added to a list in Send in Blue, which is an email marketing solution, then we want that the user should receive a WhatsApp message. How can we do that? For this, we will have to integrate the two applications and the same thing can be done using Public Connect software. So, here your trigger application will be Send in Blue and your action application will be Interact that helps you in sending WhatsApp messages. Now, how can you do this yourself, integrate and automate this entire process? To understand that, let me take you to my screen. So to begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect. And here we have reached a landing page. Now I'm going to click on sign in as I'm an existing user over here. You can sign up if you are the new user. So I have signed in here and here we have reached all applications page. So these are the various products of Pabli. Here we are going to click on access now for Pabli Connect. Now we have reached a dashboard. Now on the right hand side, you can see this big blue tab, create workflow. Let's click on this and a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. Now what is my objective here that every time a new send in blue contact is created, then the contact should receive a WhatsApp message like a welcome message. So I'm going to name it as send WhatsApp messages when a new send in blue contact is added to list. Let's click on create. Now, as we do that, here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One here is trigger, another one is action. Now, triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. Basically, action here is the response of your trigger application. Now, as per this integration, my trigger application here will be send in blue. Let's click on this. And the trigger event here would be new contact added to a list. So here you can see we have received a webhook URL. This is going to act as a bridge for connecting Sanding Blue and Pabli Connect. Now I'm going to copy this and then we are given the help disk. So we have to follow the following steps. Let me show you exactly what we have to do. So I'm going to first take you to Send in Blue. So this is my Sending Blue account. Now since we have to create a contact, we are going to go to Contacts. Now here on the left hand side, you can see settings. Let's click on this. Let's go to webhooks. And now I'm going to click on add a new webhook. Now this URL that we had just received, I'm going to copy this and here I'm going to paste the same. So once this is done, now I want this particular workflow to run when a contact is added to a list. So I'm going to select this and click on add. So here you can see that the webhook has been added successfully. Now going back to Pabli Connect, it is asking me to do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. So again here, let me take you to contact and here you can see that we have got these forms over here. So you can create a new subscription form. I already have created a form, the contact form. So I'm going to open this and show this to you. So now here you can design your form. So I have added four fields, first name, last name, email address and phone number. You can add more fields from here. Then you have to add it to a particular list. So I've added it to new contact submission. Okay. Now this here is the link of the form. So I'm going to copy this and open this in a new incognito window. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up the form. So let's say the first name here is new. Then the second name here is user123. Then we have the email address new user123 at pablitudes.com and then we have the mobile number. So now I'm going to click on subscribe and here we can see that the subscription has been confirmed. So I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect and here we have received the response. So this is the list ID, then we have the ID, then we have the event. This is the email address of the person and the date. Now here we can see that we haven't received the user details. So I'm going to choose my next application again as send in blue. Let's click on this. And this time the action event here would be to get a contact information. Let's click on connect. I'm going to go ahead with the existing connection. And now here I'm going to map the email address of the person. Now what is mapping? Mapping means that I already have this information in the previous step and I'm just going to retrieve it here. So as I click on this, you can see the previous step and this here is the email address of the person. And mapping is important so that every time the workflow runs, it can take the new data into consideration. So as I click on save and send test request, so here you can see that 
with this email address we have received the last name the first name and the mobile number of the person so once we have received this now my final action application is to send a whatsapp message to the person for which i'm going to use interact but that helps me in sending whatsapp messages now the action event here would be to send whatsapp template message let's click on connect so here public connect wants to connect itself with the interact account i'm going to select add new connection now to set up this connection we need a secret key so first log in to your interact account then click on this hyperlink here so here we have this developer settings page and this here is your secret key so i'm going to copy this and paste this over here once done let's click on save to set up this connection and now here we have to fill in this information so first of all we need the phone number of the person so if you have received the phone number with the country code you can fill this field or else you can fill the country code here and the phone number here now since we have received the phone number with the country code so i'm going to enter it here and also i'll have to add the plus sign here okay so once this is done now comes the template code name so i'm going to click on this hyperlink here so these templates are basically pre-written messages with variables that can be changed and all your messages can be personalized so let me show you the active templates so here we have already created a template the name is new contact so let's click on this and as we click on this here is the template right in front of us so here you can see whenever you are creating a template first of all you have to name it then the category and the language so here we have selected no headers then comes the body so here i have written hi and then there is a number within double curly braces we are excited to work with you and look forward to help you with any questions or needs you may have if you need assistance or if you have any feedback or suggestions for how we can better serve so please don't hesitate to reach out to us thank you regards then there's another number and team what are these numbers these numbers are basically variables that can be changed with every message for footer and buttons i have just left it blank you can always add the same now for the code i'm going to copy this so this is the code and now i'm going to copy this over here the language code so since the language is english the code would be en and then the header value so i have not selected any header so it is going to stay blank now comes the body variable so i have to map the name of the person so go to step 2 and this here is the first name let's give a space and this here is the last name put a comma then we have to enter the name of the company so i'm just going to write it manually because this is not going to change so once this is done now i'm going to click on save and send test request so as we do that here you can see that we have received the api response according to which now a message must be received by whatsapp so let's go and check the same and here you can see that we have received the message so this basically means that our integration is a success but we also need to check the same in real time so i'm going to fill up this form once again open this in a new incognito window and let's say this time the first name is smart then we have the last name which is user1 then we have the email address smart user1 at pablitudes.com and then we have the mobile number and we can see that the subscription has been confirmed so taking you to whatsapp now and yes you can see we have received another message so this means that our integration is a complete success taking you to public connect let's quickly understand what we have done so here our trigger application is sending blue where the event was new contact added to a list then we had chosen the same application to get the contact information and, and our final action application is interact where the event was to send whatsapp template message so i hope this is absolutely clear to you if in case you have any doubt you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description you can also clone the same and start to process immediately apart from this if you have any specific integration to work on you can always write to us not only this but you can integrate multiple applications using pabli connect software to ask any of your query you have to write at forum.pabli.com you can also visit our website which is www.pabli.com connect to get all the details about the latest updates the integrations and applications you can visit our facebook group if in case you have found this video helpful then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy 
I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.